Okay, so right off the bat, the first thing you want to do is run through these doors and blow right past everybody at this fucking party. Disrespect the shit out of them and let them know you're not here to fucking mingle. Go up the stairs, through the door, and over to the fuse box. Be sure to close the door behind you because if people see a bald guy in a suit with a barcode tattooed to the back of his head ripping fuses out of their house, they're gonna get fucking pissed. Run down the hallway, past the guards scratching their heads wondering why the lights just went out, through the door to the left and immediately crouch in the corner like a fucking weirdo. This asshole's got his fucking sunglasses on inside so he can't see shit. Let him walk right past you to go turn the lights back on and close the door behind him so none of the guards see your dick when you change into their uniform. Bust out of the room and sprint right past the guards before they have a chance to ask who the new bald gringo is. Pass this idiot as he saunters over to the fuse box, out the door, back through the party while ignoring every person there, and through the big ass doors. Ignore the guard on the railing and run down the spiral staircase into the wine cellar. If you've done everything that I've told you to do as quickly as I've done it, when you go down the hall and make a right into this room, you should come ass to face with your first target. Sporting a pink shirt and a pencil stash like he's Clark fucking Gable or some shit. Take out your fiber wire, crouch behind the wine barrels, and jerk off like the sick fuck you are while he does a bump of snow. Curb your ADD and wait patiently for him to walk past you towards the door, then run up on his ass and give him a throat hug until he stops squirming around like a little bitch. It's important that you kill him at the door because to the left of his pussy ass line of cocaine that my 8 year old niece could do and not get a buzz, there's a guard watching him waiting to blast you to pieces if you fuck with his boss. Once this asshole is dead, drag him over to the box behind you but don't bother putting him in it because it's a waste of time. You just need to keep him out of sight until you fly away in a couple minutes. Run back out the way you came towards the spiral stairs. Climb that shit, continue ignoring this retard who doesn't have a fucking clue what's going on, out the big ass doors and hook a right into the front lot of the house. Bolt past the VIP guard with the superiority complex that's standing at the front door and make your way towards the front right corner of the house. If he's got a problem with you, just tell him to fuck himself since he's too afraid to come after you anyway like Stoop Kid from Hey Arnold. Run around the corner and climb the drain pipe like a big bald itsy bitsy spider, making sure nobody's looking at you. But again, if you've done it as fast as I've done it, then you should be good to go. Step onto the roof, whip out your trusty fiber wire, and climb through the window to your right like a fucking pervert. Across the room to your left, you'll see your second target playing a cello, oblivious to the fact that his son is now suffering eternally in the pits of hell. But don't worry, he'll be joining him shortly after you run up and violently asphyxiate him before he can finish learning Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. Now both targets are dead and everyone else is obliviously getting drunk at their house, so do a 180 and head to the door directly behind you. Pick the lock from the inside of the room because that's how locks work and go down the main stairs to your left. The guards will be pissed that you're in a restricted area, so don't stick around. If you go out the front door, Stoop Kid will feed you a 9mm Parabellum sandwich, so instead bang a hard left at the bottom of the stairs, then another left and go through the kitchen. The other door in the kitchen will lead you back out to where the drain pipe was, so just head back across the front lot, past Stoop Kid, towards the drinking party. Some dudes dressed like you might point at you and say some irrelevant shit, but it doesn't matter. Go through the doors and make a right back towards the guardhouse. Head up the stairs, past the lazy camera crew, and through the door to the guardhouse. Now just run the same routine you did at the beginning, closing the door behind you so nobody can see you, ripping out the new fuses that were just replaced probably less than a minute ago, running back down the hall towards the other guards who might have saved their bosses' lives if they were just doing their fucking job, going through the door into the room where the blind man sits, crouching next to the door so that he can bump into you on his way back to that shoddy fuse box, and closing the door behind him to prevent humiliation when you get naked. Once the coast is clear, change back into your suit because that shit's expensive and fuck if we're leaving it behind. Leave the peasant clothes on the chair where you found them and dash back out of the guardhouse where the lights are still off so that nobody can see you despite the fact that it's broad daylight. Make your way through the party into the front door and leave, which nobody will question even though you've only been on this property for about three and a half minutes. If anyone asks, just tell them you left the stove on at your house back in America. Head to the right and run until you get to the end of the compound. The rest of this mission is a fucking cakewalk, but it takes another minute and change to complete, which sucks because it's really fucking boring. Once you reach the end of the wall, turn right. I used to think this guard would get pissed if he saw you over here, but he doesn't really give a fuck or shit. So just breeze past him like he's some guy handing out flyers in Times Square and run to the edge of the cliff. What follows is the most tedious, skillless part of the fucking level because it involves nothing but running back and forth for literally 30 seconds in order to reach the bottom of the cliff. You can't even fall off if you try. This part bores the shit out of me, so enjoy some music while I go take a piss. When you finally get to the bottom of the cliff, bank left and run around the dock to the other side. There's a guard who tries not very hard at all to stop you from trespassing, but you can just scorn his ass and run by and he won't do shit. What's funny is that in the summary after you beat the mission, it says that nobody saw you. I guess this guard didn't want to own up to letting the assassin who just killed his two drug lord employers waltz right past him and steal their airplane, which is exactly what you do once you make your way past the other guard who's asleep. And there you have it, silent assassin rating on pro difficulty in under 5 minutes. I know for a fact that there are several places where I fucked up and added time on this run, so if any you ass clowns think you 
you can do better. Be my guest and post a response. Time to beat is 455 according to the mission summary. I threw this shit together pretty quick, so if you liked it, let me know and maybe I'll make another one. If not, then I guess I'll just go fuck myself. 